Friday, everybody. It is rodent Friday for me. I bought four different traps and I'm doing four different reviews now on how to set these things up and showing you how to set them up and how they work when you activate them. So I just did uh, a Tomcat secure killer rat trap. I did the black box Victor gopher trap. These were on sale at the uh, box store for four dollars for two. So I just did a, a review of this rat trap by uh, Tomcat. And I like this thing because it's really easy. It's very simple. You just squeeze it and it's activated. When the rat's caught, you just squeeze the handle and a rat pops off. Maybe you hose it down and you're done. Very easy to activate. You don't have to worry about problems. You don't have to worry about getting injured. This thing looks like your standard. Okay, what does it say? It says bait trigger of trap with Tomcat. Put peanut butter on there. Set trap by pulling U-shaped bar opposite. Place against the wall for the, where the rat travels. All right, so I'm just going to pop this thing open. And I have no idea. You know, I my mom had mice because her neighbors have mice and mouse and rats. Uh, a lot of construction and a lot of just plants and bushes in the area. So... Uh, I had mouse traps. Very easy to catch mice with them. I checked my channel. I did some reviews on them. Um, I bought a box of a hundred of these things in the mouse trap thing, and I haven't used any of them. I really don't need them now. So most of these things activate the same way. You take the kill bar. And you normally pop it to the back. You take this rod and you put it over the kill bar, and you hook it into this little hole over here. And these things are, as I said in my other video, mouse traps are pretty tame. They're very tame, and they don't really spring that much, and you're not going to get yourself hurt. Uh, the drawing that they give you, the, this drawing is useless. I've got magnifiers on, and I can't even see what the heck they're doing here. So whoever came up with this brilliant photograph, absolutely worthless. Um, let's test this thing out. Let's see. Rats are much bigger than mice, so you're going to have a much bigger spring. And that's what's going on here. This, I mean, You could hurt yourself really bad. You could hurt yourself. If this thing springs, you're going to hurt your fingers really bad. Um, so I'm going to try to activate this thing. You're going to need some hand strength to be able to do this. And I can't really see where it's hooking on to. That's what I'm trying to see, is where does it hook onto? Is that it? I don't even know. That's the problem, I don't know. That's where it is. Okay, you see this little indent over here? The rod is going to go inside this little indent where it's hanging out a little bit. This is not really safe the way I'm holding this. I'm doing this with one hand. Hopefully I can get this thing activated so you can see how this works. I'm trying to reposition this thing for the video. Hold on. Hang in there with me. All right, this is not good. This is definitely not good. Um, I'm looking at the camera, so this is really dangerous. Okay, so I think that's how it's supposed to go. It's going to have a really light trigger. It just rests in that notch over there, I hope. So you've got to be really careful. You can see how I'm holding this thing. A lot of strength to hold it. And I think it just rests in that notch over there. So I'm going to hold the rods over here. Ah! Good thing I was holding this. So this would have snapped my finger off just now. Um... Okay, I just activated it. I'm going to take the camera and try to show you. They're very easy to set up once you figure out how to do this thing. It's just I could not do it with the camera in front of me because it was way too dangerous. So you can see how that thing is just barely stuck on that little clip. These are very sensitive so that they will trigger easily. So I'm showing you this from a different angle. You can see it's just a hair trigger. It's barely resting inside that little area over there. It's not pre it's pressed in, but it's just barely resting in that 
that split gap over there. And so you do need, until you activate this a few times, you really need to be careful, or you could hurt yourself. Okay, so we're going to activate this one last time. You need to use a lot of caution with these things. I mean, this is the spring power on here. It could, uh, I, I don't know, you could probably break a finger or maybe even lose a finger. That's why I like the easy, uh, that's why I like the, what are those called, the, the Tomcat trap. It's very easy. Well, the Tomcat, the plastic trap. The, either way, uh, these things are not going to survive. Um, you want to make sure this is positioned with the ring facing upward. That little piece wants to be facing upward. I think it goes in like this. Let's get this thing right. So let's activate this <clears throat> one last time. Um, they really want you to drill holes in these things and drop this into the lawn with a 20D nail so that it doesn't go flying around, but I would be very careful. Uh, if you do that, I would put the 20D nail in before you activate this thing. Uh, I mean, really, this thing is, this could hurt you. This could really hurt you. This spring is not messing around. You can see the amount of effort that I'm using to hold this thing down. And I'm not Mr. Muscle Man, but this thing is... I just don't like it. I don't like it. It's not as easy to, to activate, and it's not as safe as the other one. And you just need to get this piece into the curved edge. See, that's why I don't like it, because it's such... The mouse traps are very easy to do this. They're very simple. Um, Let's zoom in. Mousetrap is really easy to do. It doesn't have as much. Uh, it's not as, I, I'm just really, okay. I don't even want to be anywhere near this thing. So we're gonna put this thing on here and it's gonna jump and I'm gonna freak out and then I'm gonna try to slow-mo this for the video. But you, you see, I don't even want to put my hand on there now to move this. I just want to slide it across the carpet. And I, because, that, this is a very sensitive trigger, very sensitive. Uh, let's do this and get it over with. All right, I'm ready to panic. Ah! Oh my goodness. There it is, that's the dead rat. That is the Tomcat. And, or if you want to, just go buy this Tomcat thing. A lot easier, you just squeeze, the hand, squeeze it, it will trigger, and easy to empty out. All right. Time to do the gopher trap.